Hello and welcome to Logic ERP. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with the latest videos. In this video, we are going to discuss the assembling process for small scale businesses in Logic ERP software. So, let's get started. Log in to the software. We have created two branches. The first branch is Unit 1. P stands for procurement. The second one is Unit 2. A stands for assembling. Now, we have to log in to Unit 1 procurement branch to purchase raw materials. To create accounts, go to set up new account. Here we have already created accounts for some suppliers as well as customers. Now, go to the option of set up item multiple pack sizes to make raw items and finished items. We are going to assemble a water purifier in this video. So for the same, we have created some raw items as well as finished items. Now, go to finished items details and select finished item from here. And then click on the refresh button. Now, we have to select the raw materials for the finish good assembling. Now, you will have to manually enter the raw items with quantity for this finished item. And save data. Now, let's enter a purchase order for raw materials. Select the supplier name. And enter items here. Let's print the purchase order and save it. Let us now move on to the purchase chalan. Retrieve the purchase order from here. As you can see here, the purchase order is not showing for retrieving because we have set approval for the same. Now let's approve the order first so that we can retrieve the order from the chalan. Now, for approval, click on this button, go to common programs and click on my messages. Now, you can approve the purchase order from here. The purchase order has been approved. Let us now again create a purchase chalan. Now here, you can see that a unique lot code has been automatically generated for each item. Print the document and save it. Select go down. For quality check, simply go to the setup QC parameter for the purchase. Under the define group tab, enter the group name. Then go to define parameters. Enter here the parameter name, parameter type and parameter group. Now go to the link parameter to item plus process for defining items according to their parameter. Click on refresh. And save it. In the previous tab, we learned how to define parameters for quality checking. Now let us understand the quality check process in the logic ERP with the purchase chalan and purchase bill. For that, click on the QC document against the purchase, purchase chalan. Choose the purchase chalan from the drop-down list. Then select the purchase chalan. Press the space bar on the QC detail column. And define QC parameter details here. After that, click on OK button. 
you can observe here. As soon as we have entered QC parameter details, the QC detail column is highlighted with a green color. Let us now enter the QC details of the second item in a similar way. And save it. Let's have a glimpse of the purchase report after the quality check. In this report, you can see we have rejected two items with their reasons and you can also see the parameters here. Now go to the rejection replacement document against purchase to enter the rejections. Select the purchase chalan from here. From here, select the item for which you want to enter rejection, shortage or replacement and enter it here below. And save it. Now move to the purchase return chalan for entering rejection. Select the supplier and click here to retrieve rejection replacements. Select the purchase chalan from here. Here you can see that the rejection has been successfully retrieved. You can also see its printing and save it. Finally, move to the purchase voucher, select the supplier and now click on retrieve chalan replacement. Here, you can see that the chalan has been retrieved. The pink color indicates the rejection that we have entered. You can press F7 on the quantity column to see the rejection details. Save the purchase voucher and select the go down. Let us see how to print its barcode. Click on barcode label printing. Select purchase document from here. Select items and print it. Let us now have a glimpse of the purchase report. This report shows you purchase of raw materials according to the unique lot code. Let us now see the raw material closing stock. This report helps the user to know the closing stock of the raw material. Now go to stock transfer out. Select supplier and enter the items you want to stock out. Now, print the stock transfer out document and save it. Now, our material has been purchased with approval in the procurement branch. Let's transfer the raw material to unit to for assembly. For the same, Click on Export Stock Transfers Virtual Branches. Then select the Stock Transfer Branch. Click on Refresh. Select Yes on Export Bill Column. And finally export it. Now log in to the Assembling Branch. As you know, we have exported data to this branch. Now let's import data for the assembly process from the import stock transfer virtual branch utility. Select the branch from which data is to be imported. Click on refresh. Choose the configuration name and go down name. Then start import. Now, let's start with assembling, but before this, we need to set up assembly expenses. As you can see, we have already set up few expenses with their expense type, units, as well as their value. Finally, move on to assembling. Select a finished item from here. Here, you can define how much quantity you want to produce. Let's assemble only one quantity. 
Here you can see software automatically fetch raw material quantity according to finished good quantity. Earlier, we did set up expenses for the assembly. Now, enter the expense value accordingly. For the same, press space on the other expenses column and fill the value accordingly. You can also choose your expense type either per unit or in percentage. Refresh the data by pressing the Enter key. Here you can observe that as soon as we press the Enter key, the net cost has been changed according to the expense value. Let us assume that customers want more quantity for any raw material. You can change the raw material quantity as required. Imagine that we have different lots of the same item and the value of those lots is also different. If you want to assemble cheaper raw materials, then in that case, you will press the spacebar on the lot number. Now you can check the rates of the lot from here and assemble the lot according to your choice. Enter the required details below and save it. Here, we need to select the godown for finished goods. Now let's do assembling for multiple units. Enter the assembling quantity you want to produce and here, the quantity of raw materials will be displayed accordingly. Finally, we have assembled our finished good in Logic ERP. Now, let's transfer finished good into the other go down for quality check. Here, you can see we have selected our finished good go down for quality control. Here, we will select our finished good for quality check. Process. In the last step, we have transferred our stock for quality check. Now, here we will transfer our final finished good into the main go down for sale. Here, we will define the approved quantity of finished goods after the quality check. Now, for stock transfer approval, go to My Messages. Select the stock transfer document and click on Approve event. After assembling process, this is the report where you can find the stock of finished items. Now let create sale bill with final finish good for customer. Here we have defined a party plus product category wise price list, which we have mentioned the MRP minus markdown. Print the bill and save it. Now let's create another bill for another party. In the item detail window, you can see the price list has been updated automatically with another rate. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe.